What is up, YouTube? Jeep and Bubba here today on this nice kind of rainy day. Um, came to you last week talking about that project there, Project Beach Cruiser, and we got parts coming in for that right now. But I want to talk to you guys about Project Blue Jeep. My kids named this thing. I wanted to name it a couple other different things, but uh, they like the name Blue Jeep, so that's what we're calling it. Uh, it's about to go to Blue Jeep 2.0. So I want to do a quick walk around on where 1.0 is because by Jeep Beach, this thing's going to be pretty close to the completion of 2.0, except for a few things. So I'm going to walk you around really, really quick on it. And uh, next week, I'll be bringing you a wheeling video, okay? I promise. I'm headed out in two days to go do the Georgia Adventure Trail, so that's coming. So from what you can see behind me right here, we have the ARB Adventure Rack on the top of, that's our aluminum rack there, their aluminum rack on top of our hard top, okay? Decals were done by SBL Designs, their Rubicon style uh, decals that actually say Black Bear. I built this as what I wanted to call a Black Bear edition, like, like if Mobar came to me and said, what would be a good Jeep for the Black Bear Pass? That's what I built right here. Um, but we're going to be stepping it up. Uh, something coming soon where we're going to be adding some solar somewhere in this area. So I'll show you that on, on a uh, new video coming soon. Rubicon fenders. Okay, so this is a Sport S, but it's got Rubicon fenders with the Havoc frame chop lights. And those lights, the LEDs have actually gone out on both sides in different ones. So I have replacements to go on this one. And I'm going to have to get some replacements to go on that one. High beam off-road headlights. I've loved the headlights. The company went out of business. And unfortunately, because of that, I'm going to end up replacing these because my customers ask to buy these all the time. And I can't provide them. So I just don't want to ride around. This is kind of our display of some of the things that we sell. So I definitely want to uh, uh, get some different headlights on there in the future. I won't have that by Daytona, but I'm making a decision. I think I'm going to go with some Project X headlights on that. Cafab front bumper with their skid, Smitty built uh, 10K winch, that's the third gen, and uh, the Smitty built uh, winch thimble right there, that's what you can keep a closed loop system on. Baja design wide cornering lights, love those lights, think I might try moving on to some um, Morimoto four bangers here, and maybe do some big bangers up on the top on the A pillars, haven't decided yet, and I might add some tube work to this bumper, also haven't decided on that. So I won't have that by Jeep Beach, most likely, but um, so come down the side. Let me see how I can film this the best. Okay, coming down the side, here we are. Mamba wheels, gonna stick with those, love them. They got some trail rash, but no problem there. I'm gonna go down low for you guys. Um, got the Fox 2.0 uh, reservoirs there, Cat Fab inner fenders, 35 inch uh, Toyo, no, actually these are Nitto trail grapplers, Cat Fab sliders on the side. It's a two and a half inch lift by JKS. And uh, same in the back. I got JKS control arms underneath it. Okay, so here's what's changing. Going to three and a half inch springs and leaving my JKS control arms and my Fox shocks because they're actually long enough. Um, I'll test it out. I may add shock extensions to it, probably won't. And I'm gonna be adding geometry brackets uh, to go with my front control arms. Uh, but going to a three and a half inch spring these tires are going bye-bye and there's new 37s going on that and you'll just have to wait to see what I went with but they're sitting down there in a pile so I've got them already they are MTs but we're going to 37s and a three and a half inch lift um, we are considering doing a half wrap through here considering a soft top but I also run an awning and I think I want to keep that awning and actually today I'm putting a front runner quick disconnect for the awning there so I don't have to just unbolt it every single time um, but that's kind of our plan it, I just haven't decided whether I want to go soft top hard top it's not easy to switch between the two because this uh, rack right here is bolted to our frame and it's also bolted in down the bottom so it takes a little bit of time to swap out uh, originally I bought that rack for a rooftop tent love the rack the rooftop tent situation didn't really work out well um, up there i just didn't like the weight cat fab tire carrier cat fab rear bumper and all underneath is steer smart steering um i'm gonna like put you underneath there oh i'll get down with you i don't care hey i got a bolt bolt uh, uh trailer pin there that uses your key 
Howdy guys. Awesome filming here. All right, so we got a truss on there from Artec, Steer Smarts Track Bar. Um, actually, truss from Barnes. I apologize, Barnes. And Flowmaster is the exhaust. It's just a muffler delete because I have the turbo uh, stock drive shafts. I hope that filming was okay. I apologize. This is amateur hour today. Uh, also in the back, high beam tail lights. It's locked. It's locked. I may have to pause this one and grab the keys if I don't have them. I don't have them. All right. Let's do some magic. Pause. All right, I'm pause. I'm back. I got the keys. Okay. So in the back, I think you guys have seen this before. It's a little messy. I apologize. But we got a high beam light. Okay, awesome light. Got the uh, Rockman fabrication drawer system. I've showed that to you guys before. Awesome, awesome. Got their tailgate table right here. Works with the drawer system, so it flips up. It's really, really nice. I've done a video on that before. That's all stand. Absolutely love that stuff. We got our fire extinguisher, quick disc amount there. Some right line gear bags hanging back here. That actually holds all uh, toilet paper and stuff like that that you need on the trail real quick. Um, one of them has got my winch remote in it. And then inside I have a Midland. Um, I just stuff it down there. And then I use this little trucker um, retractable thing. And when I'm not um, when I'm not using the Midland, I just tuck it and put it away and then pull it out. Um, rugged ridges. Got this little thing here that holds our phone. That's about it on the interior mounts. Oh, oh well. Got a Carolina Metal Masters ball mount here that holds my tablet. And then very recently, I installed these Sparta 2.0 Blue Jeep, but diver down seat covers. Those are custom headrests by SBL Designs. And then diver down seat covers. Um, when I worked at JCR Off-Road, they made those for me and I've kept them because they're great. Keep my greasy head from tearing up our headrest. But my wife steam cleaned our um, seats the other day and I'm like, well, while those are nice and clean, let's put a fresh set of seat covers on them. So that's what we did indeed. So plans are three and a half inch lift, 37s. But what are you gonna do? You have a Sport S. Would I re-gear this, uh, this setup? No. Going to be putting a front axle underneath it. And I'm in between the Dynatrack, uh, maybe a Rubicon axle out of a Rubicon, or even the Dana Ultimate 44s. But we're going to go to 488 gears and do a selectable locker up front. Regear the rear to 488 and just keep the limited slip. This is a J-Flex system here. Um, let me try to get in here. This is the J-Flex system, so it's a disconnect, but it also has some flex to it. So on like gravel roads, it's cool. And then you can see the steer smarts all throughout. I've got their, um, I've got their track bar, or excuse me, their steering um, shaft brace. I'm gonna keep that, all that stuff. That's all great. And get rid of the front stock drive shaft, put an Adams in the front. Um, probably keep a stock in the rear till I break it. And then I have a, uh, some Weston skids underneath. Um, at some point, I'm going to change those out and put some different skids. And we got an aluminum um, wool pan underneath there that's cast aluminum. So that's a nice little performance piece as well. In the background, you see Liberty, who done a bunch of work on that one. That'll be a Jeep Beach as well. And probably Peach. Beach Cruiser, um, Project Beach Cruiser. So that's the three vehicles really that I've got to have done. And one more that you guys haven't seen yet. Um, well, he's been in two of our videos, but that's our buddy at KN Cut Drill Bits. We're going to be helping them build a vehicle for um, Jeep Beach as well. So going to be busy between now and then. We got about 10 weeks and a lot of parts to get in and a lot of things to install. And we got our normal customer load piling up here and vehicles need to be worked on so um i just wanted to give you guys a quick walk around on project blue jeep before it goes to, to blue jeep 2.0 um, but it's gonna be bigger and badder than ever when i bought that jeep and i want to run this through by you guys really 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 quick but when i bought that jeep i built it for overland 
and for running the Black Bear Pass. And we've used it for overlanding and we've done Black Bear Pass. But I broke last summer at Beasley Knob and I said, you know what, I'm done with this overlanding build. I'm going back to a rock crawler style build. And um, I just need 37s. I need lockers, I need bigger axles. So we were gonna trade this vehicle in and put uh, a little bit money down on a Rubicon. And then I looked at the new Rubicon prices and this motor has been flawless for us on Blue Jeep. So we decided let's keep it, take that money, build it up how we want it. it still got fairly low miles. And then basically uh, just own this thing in two or three years. You know, instead of getting a new loan and putting money down, we're a couple of years away from owning that Jeep. So uh, once you own it and you have it paid off, uh, it feels nice. And if the motor pops, we can put a new one in it or even build that thing out into a trail rig in a couple years when we own it and buy a new one for Nicole at that time. So that's our story and we're sticking to it. I hope there's an adventure in your future. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. Eat your prunes. I'm Jeep and Bubba. We'll be seeing you folks.